Hi, this is Kantik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use form controls in Microsoft Expression Web Form. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use form controls in Microsoft Expression Web Form. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Expression Web Form. How to open Microsoft Expression Web Form? quite simple and easy. Go to Start, All Programs, Microsoft Expression, then click on Microsoft Expression Web Form. Once again, I repeat the steps. Go to Start, go to All Programs, and go to Microsoft Expression, then click on Microsoft Expression Web Form. When you click on Microsoft Expression Web Form, the IDE will be open where IDE stands for Integrator Development Environment. And next task is, we want to open an HTML web page. What is the next task? Yes, we want to open an HTML web page. How to open an HTML web page? Go to File, go to New, and go to Page. When you click on Page, the new pop-up window will be opened where you want to select HTML and then click OK. Once again, I repeat the steps. How to open a new HTML web page. Go to File, go to New and click on Pages. File, New and click on Pages. When you click on Pages, the new pop-up window will be opened where you want to select HTML. Click OK. So now you opened a new HTML. And the next task is we want to use the form controls. Right? These are the controls we are going to use with HTML. In order to use the form controls, we are in need of form tag. Why we need form tag? If you want to use form controls, we are in need of form tag. Okay. How to insert this form tag into HTML. It's very easy. Just double click on it. When you double click on it, it will be automatically inserted into HTML web page. Now, I'm going to insert a table. Why I want to insert a table? I'm going for a proper alignment. In order to complete my task, I need a table. I'm using the table just for alignment. Okay, how to insert the table? Go to table and click on insert table. Once again, how to reach the table? Here, go to table and click on insert table. When you click on insert table, the insert table pop-up window will be opened where you want to change the parameters like size, layout, borders and background. Now, I'm going to give number of rows 6 and column 2. Let us say specify worth 60% and cell padding 2 and cell spacing 2. Need the border size 2 and color any color as you like. And choose the background color as you like. So these are the parameters based on your requirements. Once you customized the parameters, just click OK in order to implement it. When you click OK, well, you can able to see the table. OK, so this is rows and this is called as columns. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge column 1 and column 2 in row 1. What I'm going to do, I'm going to match column 1 and column 2 in row 1. How to do this? Just select column 1 and column 2 in row 1. Right click, go to modify, click match cell. How to do this? Right click, go to modify, click match cell. And then type registration form. Okay, now the font size is very small. I want to make it larger or bigger. How to do this? 
just select it and go to style and let us say h2 okay and just select and make it center good now i'm going to type first name okay so now user want to enter a first name where right to enter what i need yes i am in need of the text box how to insert the text box where you can see the input text right this is called as text box you just double click on it in order to insert it so now we have inserted a text box and second i'm going to type last name and then i need a text box in order to enter the last name just double click on the input text and next one is let us say dob date of birth and then let us say month okay so i'm going to insert a text box and make it small then let us say month and year two parameter is enough no need of date okay let us say month year okay so if you need you can use let us say day okay where you need a text box okay and next what i'm going to do is i'm going to use gender so in case of gender either the user can able to give their input as male or female so i need an option so that i can either select male or female so once again i repeat in case of gender the user can either select male or female so how to do this if it is a criteria we are in need of radio button what is the special of this input radio so it allows the user to select only one option okay if it is a criteria you want to use input radio just double click on it let us type male and then leave a space and and insert an input radio and then type female and then let us say mobile number and then so first is code country code so in order to insert the code i am going to use the drop down box what i am going to use i am going to use the drop down box just double click on drop down box in order to get the property of the drop down box just double click the drop down box so first where you can able to find the default value will be no just remove it and add let us say select and i'm going to add the next value let us say country code is plus 968 then add plus 91 then add plus 92 you can add any number of values as you like okay so if you need to select a default value for example double click this to edit it so just make it select so that the option will be selected as a default option and then they want to enter the number for entering number so just insert and text box okay now i need another row how to do this so just right click insert row below so if you need another row how to do this right click go to insert and then row 
above or below as simple as just click here and use tab in your keyboard how to use tab I will show you so this is the tab when you click on tab the new row will be created so just click tab and then I'm going to type email ID okay so in case of email ID I need a text box in order to enter the email ID and then I'm going to use add symbol and then I'm going to use a drop down it's a drop down just double click on drop down and remove the first option and let us say select okay and then make it default by select by choosing select and then add let us say gmail.com and add let us say yahoo mail.com yahoo.com let us say hotmail.com you can add any number of values as you like once you finished click ok no not close it and next I am going to enter a new row by using tab then let us say country and then I need a drop down in order to select the country so how to get the properties just double click on it in order to get the properties and remove the first option add let us say select and then add let us say India add let us say man let us say USA let us say UK and click OK and then I'm going to insert one more row by using tab and then click let us say address so in order to enter the address address consists of multiple lines so I cannot able to use text box but in case of text box you can use only a single line so in order to use multi lines I am in need of text area so you can use the text area in order to enter the address as a multi line and then let us say uh, interest so I'm going to use checkbox what is the use of checkbox you can use any number of options I will show you so let us say movie leave a space and then go to uh, input checks and then let us say song and then an import books and one more input checkbox that I should say shopping okay and I need an one more row how to do this yes good use tab in order to get on morrow and then I'm going to make this one column 1 and column 2 just select column 1 and column 2 right click go to modify and then merge so now I'm going to use two button first one is input type submit right so this is an input type submit you just double click the button in order to insert it and I need to change this name how to change the name just double click the submit button in order to change it and provide the value as you like let us say click and click OK and make it center now I'm going to use and reset button just double click on reset 
in order to reset all the controls back to the default values so in order to change the name double click the reset button and i'm going to use the same i'm going to replace only the r click ok now the registration form is ready so just select the table and make it center and then save this save to the desired location you need and save it once you saved and run it how to run this here's your run option preview in either you can use chrome or internet explorer firefox whatever browser you need you have installed in the system you can use it to view it so i'm going to use chrome in order to view it okay now this is your registration form where you can able to enter the values okay fine so now i i need to give some colors for the borders how to do this just select the table a white click go to cell properties and give the size let's say 2 and give some background color if you need the border color you can give the border color okay let us say okay any color as you like okay so now i'm going to reduce the size okay save it and run it this time i'm going to use internet explorer wow your registration form is ready so again you need to customize it yes you can do your customization as you like either you can able to increase or decrease the size of a table as you like so once your all your customization has been done just save it and run it okay save and run it now the registration form is ready where you can able to enter your first name and the last name let us say the month and year as you like either mail and in case of the radio button see you can either select mail or female radio button allows you to select either mail or female then you want to select the mobile number enter the mobile number and email id you can able to enter the email id and select either yahoo mail or gmail as you like and select the country and type the address as you like and in case of check box see you can use you can have multiple inputs but in case of radio there is only one input and click reset in order to reset all back to the default value this is how you want to use the form controls in microsoft expression workflow i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you